All right, guys, I'm back with more Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, just had some taco time for dinner. I'm lucky the channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. We're going to keep playing some Dragon's Dogma 2. We're on our way to Melv where the dragon supposedly attacked. I have no idea. Oh, here. Pulled the volume out. Because we've lost all our memories, so we don't know. It's all bits and pieces, but we're barely holding on out here in the wild. Trying to find a campfire. We had a gnarly goblin encounter last episode. Now, it's getting crazy again. Wait a minute. Audio is not working for some reason. My headphones. Just a minute. Because I had it muted, that's why. My bad. Putting that aside, okay. could we not add an archer to our right? They're always talking about a damn archer. Oh, no. Dude, that guy just fucking manhandled me. Are we all in the same boat? Get up. Get up and run. Ripened apple. Cranberry. Oh, I don't have to use anything, but one hit and we're dead. You guys finish him off. 60 realm crystals. The rift crystals, excuse me. What? Where you at? There you go. You hold them down and I'll get them. Ah, oh, and then I'll run away. Burn. Burn. Burn them. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. 200 gold apiece. Woo! That's big time money for us right now. Man, but we're rocking no health out here. This is not going to work. We gotta do something. Whoa. Isn't that interesting? Wonder if we can parkour our way to that. Or if this is death. Is this death? Oh god, yeah it is. No, god, we didn't die. That's crazy. I can't believe we didn't die. Okay. Who's up around the river bend? Let's see. What are you up there? I want to see what's up. Oh god, there's. Whoa! Ah, oh, can't do it. Come on. Come on, guys. We gotta go. There's too many of them there. There is no fast travel either. Okay, let's go back to this campfire. We'll rest there. And then we'll see. I'm sure these guys are going to respawn, you know. So we might just have to avoid them by going around. This does remind me of Dragon's Dogma, the first one. Make camp. Where, like, you're running for your life in a lot of situations. An intense adventure. That's very cute. Rest till morning, rest till night. I've just had a thought. Well, you can keep it until we rest till morning because we're definitely not resting till night. Night's always dangerous in this game. Let me see if the audio is looking good. Game audio still seems a little bit low, but we're gonna let it fly for right now and see what's up. Huh. I wonder how many times we can use that. Either way, that's nice. I can run back there anytime we need to heal. There's nothing in these bushes, no Seekers token. 
Forgotten Rift Stones. Um, history, tutorial log book. <sighs> Forgotten Rift Stones. Oh, that's cool. Forgotten Rift Stones can be found in various locations throughout the world. When you touch one, one of two events will occur. The Rift Stone will be restored. You will be able to use the Rift Stone to summon unique pawns of a different nature to those that can be summoned in town. Huh. That's wild. A high-level pawn will be summoned. A single high-level pawn will be summoned, after which the Rift Stone will disappear. You will be able to hire this pawn without paying any Rift Crystals. Oh, that's sick. That's really sick. So, where is one of those? Must be up there on the cliffside. Or inside this wall. It's not out here. Right? Nope. We're down there. Nope. Just gotta be on top of that cliff then. Cause I would totally hire that pawn. Was it over here? Oh, what's up there? No, but we slide down there, obviously. Okay, so how do we get up there? From there? This party is fit for adventure. Our strengths complement each other well. Oh. Onward. Adventure awaits. Glad you think so. I'm sad we lost our archer. Because now I get to just hear about how America thinks we need an archer all damn all damn day. It's like I know. I picked one. Ooh, I think this is going to lead us on top of there. Let's see about this special pawn. Such as this Cranberries. To craft things. Syrup wort I'm sure leaf. We'll find a purpose for it in due time. Man, this is so sick. Whoa. Is that a harpy over there? Sure looks like a harpy on that. That rock. No! Gosh darn it. I don't want to go down here until after we'd explored up there. But we can get right back up there. I'd not say no to a short repose hereabouts. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. Oh, another chest. Okay, so I like the chest separation and the spread so far. I don't feel like they're too far apart. And I don't feel like they're too close. In the first game, I felt like they were too close. Honestly, there was a chest like every time you turned around. And so after a while, it was kind of like not special as much. When you did find one in a special spot, you couldn't really tell because there were so many of them. You're like, well, is this like even a special one? Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's what I do. I explore all this stuff. So we'll get this special pawn, and then maybe he'll help us beat these goblins. There it is. Look, it's right here. So this is a forgotten rift stone. This is a new new mechanic right here. Let's see what this is about. I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. You do that. I'm doing this. Oh, that's such a cool animation. Look at it. I'm attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. What the hell? Did I just get short all of a sudden? Do you guys see that? Hmm. Whatever. Okay, so, yeah, cool. She's level eight, sweet, kind-hearted. She's a thief like me. She looks like she could be related to me. Her arisen is Malachi, killer assassin 23. Reward, none, rating, okay, yeah. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. <clears throat> She's pretty, pretty tall. All right, sister, let's go. We've got the sisters here. We've got Marika from Elden Ring. 
He's got my lion. I don't even know what you call these people. Honestly, I don't even know their names. Hopefully we get into their story too at it. While we're at it. Now let's go over here and see what this harpy's all about. Kind of just exploring on our way to the main quest here. The town of Melv. To see what the dragon has left in its aftermath. Apparently he attacked it and did a bunch of damage and destroyed it. But we don't know because we don't... Oh, man. Man, look at that. Just running a train on my... Oh, God. Come here. Well, at least I can stagger him now a little bit. Well, that's interesting. Uh, one strike doesn't necessarily knock down a harpy. Now, in the first game, as soon as you touch them, it would knock them down. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, Gobble. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, get up. Get up. The shield is a tough one. This guy's got armor and a shield. That means he's really tough. He must be like the commander. Almost like a hobgoblin. Get off of me. Now these guys are way easier than those other goblins were. They're not doing nearly as much damage to me. So this must be the way I was supposed to go. And there's a little bit of auto lock. I noticed that. You know, as soon as I kind of get in an area by this harpy and try to attack it. Damn, but how do I escape the the spell? Do I just got to keep moving? Is that what it is? No, uh, that didn't work. I'm not sure how to, like, defend that when they're doing that. And, I mean, if your guys are all dead and they put you to sleep like that, they're going to have their way with you. Oof, come here. Ah! <laughs> Dropped the bird right on my head. Piece of steak. Oh, we leveled up. Might there be ought over there? Seeker's token, that's what I'm talking about. We got two. Two down, 238 to go. Real of discovery never gets old. Sure, it sure doesn't. Harpy Pinion, Harpy Pinion. We gotta be careful leaping around ledges. It's gonna cost us. Morning Tide and Green Wash. I don't know what the Morning Tide's about. The Green Wash is our healing items. Well spotted. Wow! That was 1300 gold. That's huge. That's huge for us right now. So, we're getting some really good experience. We're getting some items, getting some gold. Working our way up in the world here from nothing but a lonely pawn to a legendary arisen eventually. But at the same time, weren't we somebody to start off with? Oh, there's gold right there. Why can't I get that? I mean, what's. What? We can't get that. It's right there! Why can't I have it? Why can't I have it? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> now. Goblin horn. Let's go this way. I like the way we're going. It seems like the enemies aren't too tough and there's some stuff to look at and explore. I think we've been here already to this spot. Ooh, that was a terrible idea. Yeah, see, we gotta be careful. We can't even mess around like that because in this game, it's not like the first one. Look at that ballista on top of that tower. That's the one that shot down our griffin. This game isn't like the first one. We're gonna have a hard time keeping our health. If campfires are the only way to really recover that, I mean, I guess that's where we're supposed to go, right? Yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. Yeah, see, we were messing around up here, and it was getting really hard. So we then we came south, because we are going the wrong way. Now it's gotten a lot easier. So. 
Yada da 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 Give to America, give to America, give to America, dried fruit, we're going to give to America, copper ore, we're going to give to America, give to America. I don't want to do too much more because a lot of these items will stick right in storage as soon as we find another storage unit or another end to store our stuff at. What's that over there? A golden scarab? Golden trove beetle. Never heard of that. A rare beetle that glitters like gold. Consuming it increases the weight one can carry by 0.15 kilograms. The Arisen's main pawn can also receive the same effect. Cool, so we can do this if we're over encumbered. That's so sick. That reminds me back in the days of Morrowind where you could take like potions if you were over encumbered a little bit, you could take some potions to lighten your load or make you stronger to carry more weight. There's different ways to go about doing it and kind of tweaking the system. I like that. I like that. It's just a little way to bend it. A fine adjustment. These grapes. No more Harps bud. What one might have expected. Harps bud. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Well, we're going to be looking. And I see that we're going to need lots of green wash. How do I put it as an auto use item, too? I should stop. Did you guys see that? Okay. Come on. She was very responsive. As soon as I told her to stop, she stopped on a dime. Nothing up there. The waterfall right over here and a harp spud. Gosh darn it. No, the Brian take me. Yeah, that doesn't really count as a death because we don't really die. It's just like they didn't want to deal with water in Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're just not going to do that in this game. You guys get land, be happy with it. Can you imagine if there were sea monsters in this? Holy smokes. There's some kind of creatures down there. This must be Saurian eggs. Now that I'm thinking about it. Can we get over there from here? Yeah, now I've got the uh, wet debilitation on. Sunbloom. 500 gold. You get well rewarded for exploring, boys. Oh, man. Fish! A broken down wreck of something. Jagged bone. Oh, beast skin. We might find the use for it. Okay, we can always catch fish. Always. No matter what. Oh! Oh. Huh. Okay. Definitely the easiest enemy in the game. You're welcome to take whatever you like in my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Don't want anything from your pack. I want to explore this open world. That is so beautiful. Look at all these markers are here. These wooden posts. Oh god. Okay, let's head to Melv. I wonder if this is Melv right here. Ingredients are plentiful here about. Sure looks like a bunch of wreckage no, right now. Few. 
That's good. Stronghold raised by dragon's fire. Look at it. It looks like that uh, first starting point of Oblivion. What's the first city? Oh, guys, help me out. What's the city that you're rescuing in the very beginning? streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. It is an immutable truth this world. Huh. He's as you say. That's interesting. So when the dragon appears, so do we. Look at all this damage. Now, this is the parkouring that I loved in the first game. Oh, gosh. It's going to be a little bit trickier. Or maybe a little bit easier once we figure it out. Because that was really nice. Super smooth. Super, super smooth. Whoa. <laughs> As I said that. But the city of whatever. I thought it would start with a K. It's the dragon's voice, guys. Hi. I have a selection of wares that's sure to please. Makeshift. Gale key, a key of the gale of relative crude make. It will break after a single use. So if we go to jail, I guess we can break out with that. Fulminous shield. Grimoire filled with arcane power, certain to fascinate any sorcerer. Reading it, cast the spell High Thundermine. No idea what that is. Some really cool arrows. Explosive, drenching, blighting. Ring of aggression. Ring that grants power to the wearer and whose spirit resonates with its magic. Boost strength. <sighs> That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. We can't afford it yet. Ring of Resolution. A ring bearing a mysterious power that invigorates the spirit. The wearer is less likely to be knocked down or staggered. That's a big one for us because we've been staggered quite a bit. And stagger's a big deal. That's probably why it's 8,000 gold. We can't afford it. We'll see what happens here. Let me know what you need. Might have just the thing. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. No purchases to be made today, I see. We've got a British salesman out here. Understands. I wish I knew your restraint arisen. Whoa. So we're cursed and we've lost our memory. We arrive at the same time as the dragon. Yeah, we have. We lost our memory. That is most unfortunate. But it does not release thee from thy fate. Whoa. Seriously, it is. We're having a flashback, I think, of him attacking this town. Look at how sick that is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Talk about being a lowly pawn. I don't think this is going to go well. Ah, oh, hide behind this. This is so cool looking. Look how big he is. The end dragon in the last game was so big. Oh, I have no, I have no stamina items. I was trying to use the stamina item. His knee almost crushed me there. Let's take him down, one toe at a time. Look at him. Is this is what I'm supposed to be doing. A 
risen. I earned a trophy. I see. So I was a soldier. Look at her. She's burned. Look at her. To a crisp. chills right there great bit of art great work now it's basically just like the first game we had our heart ripped out and eaten by the dragon can you hear me sir sir stay with me Sir. Wonder who she is. Obviously an archer. With some leather pants, huh? Right guys? Hmm. <laughs> Just left me all in my armor to lay in bed. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? Well? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds, and I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. I mean, I wonder, would she have been the Arisen then, if we hadn't have saved her? <laughs> I seem to have What's become that? Arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Well, look at her face. That's super animated. Does it have ought to do with why you were taken to the castle? The facial animations are very, very improved. They said it was so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you have no memory of this either. Caught me. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Yeah, you're cute. Then. We'll be back. Take care. Didn't get your name, did we? Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. Hmm. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? 
If you truly are the wizard, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Okay. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Cool, there's the inn. Speak with Lenart. Shall we seek some answers? You're not Lenart. I am well enough, thank you. Enter Vernworth. Hmm. Have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no, I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. <sighs> the facial animation is a little jacked up. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard terrible medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. I made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You do that? You'd get the medicine for me. I suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure. Oh, sir, I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. Okay. We could make the Deliver the fruit reborment. Okay, well, let's take care of that really quick then. Set that as our main quest. Make your way to the capital. Return Flora. Let's do that real quick. I think I get the idea. We'll get the sick girl her medicine. We're here, Master. Well, just like that. Well, this is an armor. Ah, well met. Here for some fruit roberant, are we? Fruit roberant. Between you and me, guys, they're mighty easy to make. Simple as combining the ingredients, if you know what they are. One of the RPG golden rules is exhaust all dialogue. Me, guys, they're mighty easy to make. Simple as combined. Cool. Well, tell me what two materials. He's got the throat cutters from the first game. We like a good set of throat cutters, but we're saving our money right now. The deep wood jacket. That looks dope. Maybe we'll get our girl a pair of pants here. The land walkers. The napped leather boots. The naped leather boots. I don't know how you'd say that. Napped would be with a K, I guess. I like that look. 1240 is expensive. Soft neck wrap too. Oh, they have so many good looking items. A ring imbued with power slightly boosts maximum health. A ring imbued with power slightly increases the maximum amount of weight you can carry. Mm -hmm. well, I feel like we're due one item, guys. What are we going to get? The napped leather boots, the soft neck wrap. Which one? The neck wrap doesn't do much except guard against frost debilitation, but this actually has defense to it, so we're gonna get that and we're gonna equip it. And the ingredients, if you know what they are. Oh, we need the fruit rope. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> good thing we didn't spend all our money. Always a pleasure. What say we see this delivered? We will. What say we rob the shop here of the treasure chest? Green. <laughs> they have just a green wash. That's we funny. Obtained that which Miss Flora requested. Yeah. Well, Shall we go and deliver it to her? Of course. Of course. We'll help your family. Don't stumble around in the dark. Outfit yourself with one of our fine lanterns. But mind how far you stray from home at night, lest beasts be drawn to the glow at your hip like moths to a flame. If you mm. would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. Oh, we got her right here. We know where she is. Sir, say, have you brought some fruit robbery for me? Wait. Deliver. Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. 
One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome. Now I hope that comes back, like in the first Dragon's Dogma, there were some quests that came back around in a really cool way. You got helped out in some boss battles, and you got given certain items later on, and certain quest lines played out differently depending on how you help certain people out. I hope that happens in this one too. Yep, here's this Rift Crystal. These writings could be of import. Well, we know all about them. Excuse me. Let's go around and talk to some people and see what's up in this town. Waterboat seems familiar. Is that you, Norbert? Oh, fine. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? Oh, I didn't even know this was going to be a quest. The fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Ah. Uh. understand. So it's just another quest like in the first I'm not afraid of Borderland Watch Watch would Village or whatever. Anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? So I thought mayhap you'd go in my place. Of course, the mighty arisen. Please, sir. I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right. As for where I think he's gone. Go into the forest and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye. But my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map. And it's hard to describe, but my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing I'll have to show you the way. That's right. Bro, a pair are going to come out with us. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me. Keep me safe. Right. In we go then. My life's in your hands, friend. We all come to door. That was a roundabout way of getting to an escort quest. And like they told us in the beginning, these quests are time sensitive, so when you pick a quest, you need to finish the quest. Which I like. You won't have a lot of side quests hanging out. Waiting to be finished whenever. Mayhap you should speak with Sir Leonard. I will. I will. Look at him go. His stamina didn't go down. We're going round shield. You're running me out of breath, round shield. What I got for stamina? Fish. Oh, health. Fish are health and not stamina in this. Whoa. Okay, the harp's motor stamina. Interesting. That's different. Yeah, they really got the scenery and the world right, I think. It's not the most, like, perfect thing, but it's not supposed to be. Well, I'm trying to follow this guy who's running everywhere. He's basically running back the way we came. Can't tell if we lose less stamina with our daggers sheathed or, yeah, if it's the same. Isn't it interesting? Good spot. Back to the campfire. Okay, and we're gonna stop this episode here too, guys. My brother, many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on, same as us. This seems a decent spot for a campsite. Better to rest while we're here than lament our weariness later. Okay, when we come back, guys, we'll continue on with this quest to help him find his brother. I'm lucky, the channel's game on. We just keep on gaming on. Playing some Dragon's Dogma 2. We're just jacked. We're loving every second of this. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.